and of course breaking that story for the first time that big interview was being done by Times Now's deputy news editor and ace reporter Prema Sri Devi. That's the third consecutive news break, ladies and gentlemen, from Prema Sri Devi. First Rajendra Kumar, then she spoke to GK Pillai one week before he spoke to any newspaper. And now she has cracked that big interview with RVS Money. Prema Sridevi covers internal security, intelligence at the Home Ministry, and she's joining us tonight. Big story, Prema. Big day for you. Congratulations on the panel with Prema and the others tonight. Sambit Patra of the BJP. Mahesh Jetmalani follows the Ishrat case like a hawk for years. KBB Singh joining us tonight on the top right of your screen is the lawyer of RVS Money who is not speaking since the Times Now interview. He's gone incommunicado. We will try to reach out to him in the course of this show. Perhaps on the phone, he will be available. Kumar Ketkar, senior journalist. I don't know his take on it. Rahul Narvekar has much to explain for. Ajay Alok of the JDU also has much to explain for. Maybe they'll revisit their positions on uh, Ishra Jahan today. And Taslim Ahmad Rahmani will join us in some time. Before... Mahajet Malani is, is questioning the bureaucrat in question, calling him names, short of abusing him, then turning on to say that he said ridiculous things in the past, which is also not true. Is that an, enough for political answer? Given what RVS money has now come out with, can you just, you know, trash it all, disregard the fact that there's been a cover up by now going after the bureaucrat RVS money who's spoken to Times now? Mr. Jet Malani. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, Arnav, I just want to say, uh, let's take Chidambaram's own defense. Uh, you know, he done it unilaterally, he doesn't come on any debate. Uh, he's a master of sophistry, I hate to say this, so that nobody can really, you know, question what he says. Well, I but think he should come on debate, Chidambaram certainly says, on this one. With them. First, he says that he, he, of course he should come on this debate, but, but just let me tell you what his four defenses are very quickly and why, why they are so hollow and empty. First, he says, is that the first affidavit was ambiguous. He doesn't tell us why the first affidavit was ambiguous. It's not ambiguous. Uh, because the, it, it wasn't ambiguous. It was unequivocal. It actually said that all the four people who were shot in that encounter were terrorists. Right? So it was not ambiguous. Then he says, secondly, in any, in any case, the question is not whether uh, Ishrat Jahan and the others were terrorists. The question was whether it was a fake encounter, uh, 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 an aspect right, right. reiterated by Abhishek Singhvi, the spokesperson for the Congress today, after your latest revelation. He says that the issue was whether it was a fake encounter or not, not whether they were terrorists. But why did you then drop it? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, after all, if they were terrorists, you probabilized the fact that it wasn't a fake encounter. There's nothing. Uh, it was a genuine encounter. The fact that you drop it and try and... Pro uh, you, you, you therefore want to promote the theory that it was a false encounter because the fact that they were terrorists will render that false encounter theory far more, uh, far less believable. No, Third, I, he says I don't that uh, in any case ID action and this, this Arnav, I, fi I find this astounding. Please let me finish Arnav, just these last two points. He says that the ID inputs were not actionable evidence. Now, you know, this is just verbal sophistry. What does that mean? Please tell, please ask Mr. Chidambaram, what does he mean by that? Is but, but I can ask Mr. Chidambaram. Then give evidence. You I can ask Mr. Chidambaram all that and much who more. Said that this was, please, no, I can Arnav. ask, I can ask Mr. Chidambaram all that and much one more. Minute, Clarify since you mentioned Arnav. it the third time. Arnav, I want two, okay. two NSAs, Arnav, two NSAs have said this was a genuine encounter. It was a highly successful IB operation. Mr. Narayanan and Mr. Ibrahim, you've had Home Ministry officials and IB officers both contemporarily with the encounter and subsequently all reaffirming that this was a highly successful uh, IB operation. You've had the best evidence rule that L.E.T. whom you should be, wh whom you should be saying that this is Conclusive evidence, LEC in its website and Gazwa Times, its mouthpiece, immediately after the incident, claims all the terrorists as their martyrs, including Ishtar Jahan. And you have Headley, who corroborates it by saying that Lakhvi and Muzabal Bhatt told him that this was a botched up operation and these were now, all their operatives. In the face of this overwhelming evidence, 
Mr. Chidambaram says there's no actionable evidence. No, no, what's it? And that's why he changed the affidavit. See, see, Mr. 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 Chidambaram was party to the change. No, no, Mr. No, no. Well, let's take the debate Pillay forward. Don't Mahesh. denies it. And Arnav, if Mr. Pillay was a party to the affidavit, it would have been on the file. Now, Mr. Now, Mr. 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 Jaitmalani, I'm opening this this up to debate. I want the contrary position first because I see very little merit for Rahul Narvekar Ajay Alok to continue to defend what Chidambaram did or did not do. Chidambaram has to answer for himself. Now Chidambaram says, first of all you keep saying Chidambaram should answer, he's happy to answer. But if he only wants to take underhand deliveries somewhere else, you know, if he doesn't want to take straight questions, that's his problem. If he comes on news I'll ask him some pretty straightforward questions. Chidambaram says first affidavit was ambiguous. How can he say that? It was as specific as can be. If Chidambaram does not like what is the definition of specific, that's his problem. It specifically refers to an obituary of Ishrat carried by Gazwa Times. That is specific. It contested a retraction of the Ishrat obituary by the L.E.T. mouthpiece and squarely put on record the fact that it was a tactical ploy by the lashkar e -Toyba. That is not specific for Chidambaram. It details the terror antecedents of Javed Shakya, draws the links to Ishrat Jahan. Chidambaram does not find that specific. It specifically speaks about the hiring of Ishrat appear to be, appearing to be quote-unquote a part of the L.E.T. conspiracy to provide cover to Pranesh Pillai. That is not specific for Chidambaram. It specifically refers to, and I don't know what the Chidambaram definition of being specific is. It specifically refers to two Pakistani nationals, including Amjad Ali, establishes LET links. That's not specific for Chidambaram. Ajay Alok, just one point. What is specific? You can't define the word specific in terms of is it Chidambaram pleasing specific? It specifically submits that Ishrat, Javed, and Amjad Ali were part of the LET. This is as specific as can be. And on top of it now, yeah, Ajay Alok, the person who signs can it I says start? one year before the start? general elections of 2014, I was being burnt with cigarettes. Burnt with cigarettes yeah, as part of systematic now? torture to change my line. Ajay, this is big. Ajay, Ajay's countering debate yeah, is let open. Let me be very specific. Yeah. <clears throat> let me be very specific right from the word go. I said earlier also, when David Headley's statement came, I said, why BJP is chuckling, and today it has happened again the same thing, that with the RS money <coughs> statement, the whole BJP and Times now it's chuckling like you have got something big. Let me ask two questions from you and BJP. Whose government was no, there? Sorry. No, no, the sorry. The tax? no, no, sorry. No, no, sorry. No, no, sorry. You please. want to make you derogatory to comments, you don't think you'll get away. You I want, think those people who to, don't ask questions in the Ishra Jan case are blind, not the, the media which please exposes please, it. Please, please continue. Give me 30 seconds. No, no, no. I think people who don't ask questions are blind, not those who ask questions. Thank you. Please continue. I'm just asking two questions. The people about your RS money. Please. The RS money said, RS money said, RVS money. 2001 parliament attack was, RVS money said, 2001 parliament attack was orchestrated by the government. Factually incorrect. Indian government. Let his lawyer respond. Let his lawyer respond. You're factually no. incorrect. You're, if you're thing. factually incorrect, you apologize. No, I'm not If you're factually incorrect, you'll apologize. His lawyer responding. Mr. No, no, one second. One second. His lawyer, KBB Singh. KBB Singh, you're factually incorrect. No, you are factually incorrect. Don't see what's on your phone. You're factually he is not going to the affidavit. He is honestly making a false Mr. statement on this such a such a media. So you are making a false Mr. statement. Yeah, you are making a false statement. You must take back. You are not going to the affidavit. You are not read the affidavit. What he says? He states that. Now he said he has said person, in the affidavit if the Sish Verma who told him to it was Sish Verma who told him in 2001 that it was manipulated by the under government. In of of saying, why you are making false statement? Why are you making false statement? Was such a, uh, I am not making false statement. He I has already made the statement. He has written a letter to the government. Don't know. Stating you know what has happened with him in Ahmedabad. What what Sadish Verma was doing with him? You you are making a false statement. So you first take back if it's a false statement. Take it back. Will one minute. So if it's a false statement, take it back. If it is a false statement, you if it is a false statement, why you're making viewers, false statement? You are viewers, not one minute. Minute. viewers, one minute, one minute. First of all, I give an opportunity to prove out here right now. At this part of the debate, I am requesting. We've come to a point. Prema comes in with a hand raised. Prema has the story. Prema, is this a false statement made by Ajay Alok? 
Arnab, this is a completely false statement because here is the there affidavit you are. There which you are. RVS Money be had filed before India the Supreme Today Court on the 6th Listen of August 2014. And in this affidavit, India RVS Go Money goes on to say that the respondent number 7 has gone on to make some false allegations. Ah. I'm going to read out from this affidavit, Arnab. This is the affidavit which RVS Money filed before the Supreme Court and he goes on to say the deponent was shocked and amazed by many things uttered by respondent number 7. And respondent number 7 is Satish um, ah. Verma. And what did Satish Verma say? He said that like terrorist attacks in Parnam parliament was engineered by the ruling party in the central government then so basically this is what satish verma told rvs money and this was filed by rvs money's lawyer i think you should apologize sir court. this is this is what i, I think you saying. should apologize mr what is for that mr i think an apology is in order rvs money to the government of india no no i think apology is in order sambit patra coming into the debate sambit patra to a chalo sambit patra sambit to the media sambit and then times of india wrote an article sambit patra money is the pakistan new best friend and we are fighting Ajay for Dan, Pakistan's new best friend. That's what I'm asking. Ajay, don't what spoil your case anymore. Allow others here. to speak as well. that first. Please, Ajay. I am allowing you to speak. Don't Ajay, over RBS Ajay don't money. shout. Let others because speak his, as well. Because his character is Number suspicious. one, you began your... Yes. Being in the Ajay. Ministry of Home Affairs Ajay. for three years. Ajay, Ajay Bobia, please be seated. Let others speak as well. And he chose to keep mum. And we are discussing as if he's a big hero. Ajay, Ajay, let others speak. Others speak. Please, please. Go ahead. Please. Number one, okay. Ajay, you began your statement by saying that Andhe ke haath mein bate. You call the BJP as well as the Times Now channel today Andha. Remember, I am surprised today that something which is quite evident, which is quite visible, politicians of your hue and color, the Congress, the JD, are unable to here. see the truth. It's Why, my friend? Channel. Why are you not able to see the friends? Please keep quiet for a while. Don't be, Ish don't be Ishrat's lawyer. Don't be Ishrat's lawyer. Please listen <laughs> others as well. Number one, or not, like this. let me first like congratulate your reporter, like Prema, for the kind of interview she has taken. Number one, number one, it's not important as to what these three interviews gave us. It's not important what uh, these two affidavits were. What is important is what transpired between these two affidavits, August and September 2009. And I, I would say, I, I, I would not mince words to say that the country should be shamed. The country's home ministry, the country's government back then was conspiring against its own national security. They were in fact protecting the perpetrators and torturing the protectors. I'm pained. I have gone word by word of the interview of Mr. RVS Money. And I was really touched on two points. Point number one when he says, and I could, I could see Sambit, truth in his Sambit, eyes when he says, Sambit, my parents' lives so, were cut by two to three years you, because you are in the of the torture that I was going don't take don't take the cover of RVS money. If it is so, I am with you. The case would be open. It is they should be punished and brought no, to court. Not at all. The case would be open. open the case all those who are protecting the perpetrators of terrorism would be exposed. Don't take the cover and Ishrat Bhaijan, Ishrat Bhaijan, listen me out. You would be the first one to expose Nitish Kumar, Congress, Sonia Gandhi, Chidambaram. These all people would be exposed. You are Ishrat. Bhai Jan, and from this mind your language, why, why, are you not, are you, are you, are you, are you not feeling a sense of pride? Are you not feeling a sense of pride to be associated with Ishraq Jahan? You called Ishraq Jahan Bihar ki beti? You called Ishraq Jahan Bihar ki beti? You took this whole, you took this whole issue to that level, where, where you, where you in fact brought Ishraq as beti of Bihar just to garner some vote? What are you talking? That was the kind of politics. Think you are doing, and today when you are exposed, go after you are rattled, you are you shouting at me. You don't have courage to go after them. You can only keep Just shouting, second, shouting and doing Jalo. nothing. You are absolutely Just actionless people you are. If you have something you in have you, courage. go after them. Mr. Ajay Alok, wait. Open the case. All of you would be exposed. And what let me wait? tell you, or what not, wait? today if Mr. Chidambaram is hearing me, today if Mr. Chidambaram is hearing me, I put a cover of RBS Mr. Ajay, I am questioning Chidambaram. Mr. Ajay, don't shout. Allow me to question. Mr. Chidambaram, do you hold the fort for Mr. Chidambaram? Do you hold the fort for Mr. Chidambaram? Let me I'm question Mr. Chidambaram. Why are you shouting? I'm not a person for Chidambaram. Go and act against Chidambaram. Who's stopping you? 
The question, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, cease fire for a minute. Cease fire for a minute, Ajay and Sambit. I am concerned about because I have maintained a consistent line on this subject. I have maintained a consistent line on the subject. Do not get politics in an issue of national security. The fact is, Rahul Narvekar, political intervention by members of the UPA government in this case pit two of India's top agencies, the Central Bureau of Investigation and the Intelligence Bureau against each other. I say in any country where the IB and the CBI are at war, the country's national security is at risk. Come on, Rahul Narvekar, accept your mistake. Well, Affidavits are not changed well, without reason. You know, you know, Rahul Narvekar, that the Ishrat Jahan case was the strongest case that was being used at one point of time against Mr. Narendra Modi. Now that the case falls flat and all bureaucrats come out and reveal what actually was going on inside, maybe it's a lesson for you too. You specifically NCP. You too to realize do not jump into these troubled waters without knowing your facts. Maybe you owe an apology tonight to all the people for the way you swam with the tide of the Ishrat Jahan case because you felt that tide would be convenient to you. Now that it has been exposed, you need to offer an apology. You shouldn't have done politics over it, Rahul. Rahul will speak. Kumar Ketkar hasn't spoken. Well, Everyone else, please know it's an open debate. By the way, while I, do, while I speak tonight, many viewers are saying, Please get RVS Money live on the channel. I will try. Mr. RVS Money has been incommunicado since that interview. I'll try to reach out to him. If I do, I'll put him on the line. Yes, please continue, Rahul Narvekar. End the politics, please. Arnav, it is amazing to see how Times Now decides that uh, investigations and cases fall flat based on revelations made at a belated stage by a office, former officers who themselves were in charge of certain uh, proceedings and investigations. That gives it credibility. And that gives it the credibility. The people who are speaking are directly linked to the case. Let what are you me, talking about? Me, you want me to interview complain. someone who has let nothing to do with the case? No, I'm not, no you want no me to interview someone? You want me to interview someone in the civil engineering department of the Mantrale building in Mumbai? It's worth wasting my time. I don't think it's worth wasting my time on your show if you're not going to allow me to speak. I didn't interrupt when you were putting the well, question Well, certainly, to me. certainly then answer the, the question. No, answer the question in that case. While I am making, giving you my submission. Answer the question, that's all. Answer the please, question. Please bear with me. I'm exactly. bearing with you. Please answer the question. So number one, I don't know. I, I, I don't know as to why would you give so much cred credibility to a revelation made by an officer yes. who, who, whom you think had all the powers to make this affidavit. Let me tell you, this is not He signed the affidavit function. for God's sake. What are you saying? A procedure, he signed the a, affidavit. The procedure laid down before an affidavit of this sort is filed in the court. It moves not only from the Under Secretary, it goes from Under Secretary, Deputy Secretary, Chief Secretary, precisely, Principal Secretary, precisely, and, secretary, the minister also. and for your information, so the Home are, Secretary and the Under Secretary. When, 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 sorry, there are sorry, no sorry, no. There are five no. Okay, Mahesh Jetmalani, counselling Mahesh Jetmalani, counselling. to the court. If, 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 Mr., if this Under Secretary was so aggrieved, did he put a dissent note in the file? Yes, he, he has that? put an affidavit. FYI, for your kind information, Has Prema. He? Prema, can you, please, can, you can you please illuminate? This is all rubbish. Can you please illuminate this? You are just like that affidavit. One second, one second, one second, one second, one second. I have... Expecting that he should write to the other I have, I have with me answer to your question. Rahul Nadekar, a little bit of patience. A little bit of patience to answer your question. And I have not seen a more wishy-washy interview. Okay, now... He leaked that affidavit to Pakistan. Why are you getting hassled? Why do you call it a wishy-washy interview? Why you have not done the interview? Listen to me. I was not happy with what was happening. He had the right 
and he was supposed to put a dissent note in the file. Mr. Did he do that? Okay, now that's you, the procedure. If you that's if, the rule of business. You know that kind of a that kind of a pulverizing verbal attack from your side requires 20 seconds of explanation. If I can please have it, Mr. Narvekar, I'll be extremely grateful. I hold up and Prema will explain to you. We've gone into the story in some detail. This is the affidavit. No, no, I have one, seen are, again you start. This is the problem. You are almost this is the problem. The man to say something controversial. Okay, so Mr. Mr. Narvekar, next you will say that he was put under some narcotics by Times Now in order to order, issue these statements. Neither was he, neither are you, neither am I. I am no, answering no, the question. Mr. Narvekar, patience. Play, patience. You play the entire patience. interview again. Patience. You play the entire interview I'll, again. I'll put the whole has script. Once said that the minister was involved in changing the affidavit. Has he ever said that there was something wrong in the affidavit? Has he ever said that there was pressure from ABC to oh change God. the affidavit? These are all You know, Mr. Narvekar, I go back, I go back to the point. Mr. Narvekar, this is the interview or not. Okay, no, no, one second, one second, one second, one second. Mr. Narvekar, Mr. Narvekar, I truly believe, I truly believe. No, no, what's that? Samit, please wait one minute. I'm just saying, I want to say one I, thing to Narvekar and Prema will c come in and then you can take this forward. I truly believe, Mr. Narvekar, as I keep saying sometimes, you can wake up a person who is sleeping, but you can't wake up a person who is pretending to be asleep. You say today, show me what is in the interview, I'll show you. One minute. And first of, first answer to your question. To first answer to your okay. question. Now, Mr. Narvekar, don't say anything. First answer to your question. Prema, in 30 seconds, please tell us about RVS Mani's affidavit, where he talks about the pressure he was under to implicate Rajendra Kumar. I have a copy of it. Maybe you do as well. Hold it up and you can tell Mr. Narvekar what the facts are so that we can move on from that point. Prema? Well, Arnab, this is the affidavit which RVS Money had filed before the Supreme Court and in this affidavit RVS Money goes on to talk about two things. One is he says that both the affidavits were, were vetted by the Union Home Minister, then, uh, the then Union Home Minister P. Chidambaram. In fact, if you see, yesterday the, union, the then Union Home Minister P. Chidambaram had gone on record to say that the first affidavit was not vetted by him. But this document proves that the first affidavit Point was indeed vetted Point by the then Union Home Minister P. Okay, now point. the second important thing what RVS Money says is the amount of torture he was subjected to. I'm going to read out from this affidavit order when it on. says the respondent number seven was adamant, rude, rude respondent violent. number seven here is Satish Verma unruly and violent, violent. pressurizing yeah. the deponent to state that one Sri Rajinder okay. Kumar IPS, the then joint director. So he goes on to talk about Got how it. The CBI officers wanted him to implicate the IB officers. Okay, Prema, Prema, now, 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 Prema, I think Mr. Uh, Rahul Arnaik has understood, but he's just going to continue punching away. Yes, please. Yes, please. Mr. Mani's lawyer also wanted to come in. Yes, Mr. Singh. Mr. Singh, you want to clarify on that? I just wanted to oh, answer no, I Rahul. Want to say, I want to say, Mani is my, no, Mani is my childhood no, friend. No, and he, an opportunity he, to answer that. he engaged me for the purpose. He engaged me for the purpose. Are you trying to tell me? He engaged me for the purpose to represent him in the, the before the Honorable Supreme, Supreme, Supreme Court. And it was a so you know what he has revealed? When he came back from there, how was he was tortured? He was even abused, bad language, abused, abused in unparliament language. He was even called Madrasi. You don't have to worry so, this, this is what the language he has used, Satish Verma, against him. He was even going to hit him. But Mani retorted him back, if you will hit me, I will hit you again. Uh, don't, uh, don't touch me. Uh, I'm a, uh, this is what is the, what was the situation. Was him with now, he is saying that he should, uh, uh, the, the one person was saying that he should write a dissent letter. Without writing dissent to the higher officers, he was tortured in this way. If after writing a dissent, what would have happened with him? Exactly. Would have been not killed him? This is what he, uh, what they say, irresponsible man sitting on this uh, studio, saying that he would have written a decent, uh, uh, decent letter to the higher authorities. This I can't understand. It is their officers, you mean you are, you are all officers. Then what was the government doing? Debate opens up. Debate opens up. Kumar Ketkar. Kumar Ketkar, one second. By the way, by the way, I want to say one thing. What has Mani said? Kumar Ketkar, Mani has said that as Under Secretary Internal Security in the MHA in August 2009, he drafted and signed the first affidavit that declared Ishrat a terrorist belonging to the LAT. This affidavit was approved by the Home Minister at that time. That is Under Secretary Internal Security in September, just a month later, he signed a second affidavit that did not include the reference to Ishrat as a terrorist. However, this affidavit was not signed by him. But someone at the home, above the Home Secretary level, there's nobody except the Home Minister above the Home Secretary level. Third, as Under Secretary was following instructions from the top when asked to sign the second affidavit that deletes the reference about Ishrat being a terrorist. You know, Kumar Ketkar, how this was used politically? You think we should separate the affidavits from the politics? 
Would you separate the change in the affidavits from the politics reasonably? Would you? Well, I... Coming, coming. Yeah. Well, actually, you have all the documents, you have all the interviews, you have all the data. You have all the documents, you have all the interviews, you have all the data. I don't have anything. I am a representative of the citizens of this country. And as a citizen of this country, I wonder why the apprehended so-called terrorists were not actually <laughs> presented before the court. And why they were shot? Fake or real encounter? Uh -huh. Fake or real encounter doesn't matter. Mahe Jet Palani is not happy with that argument. Why they were not presented before the court? Number two, it is not UPS. It is not only. It is not only this war between this money and that pille. The question is simple. It is UPA Home Ministry versus the NDA Home Ministry or Modi's you, Home Ministry, you, you, which clearly proves that there is a kind of war. Inside the IB and this. inside the Sambit, Sambit, Sambit is countering Kamar Ketkar. Sambit, Mr. Ketkar, it is truth versus lies. It was a correct, it was a correct, no, no, it was a correct demand. No, no, all these lawyers of Isra Jahan have to be exposed tonight. It was a correct demand. Mr. Arnab, Mr. Arnab, let me take on Mr. Ketkar today. This is absolute lie. This is not the government of the government versus the UPA government. This is a truth versus lie. Not at Mr. Ketkar, answer me. Answer me, I am asking you something. You don't have any facts, but let me give you certain facts. Fact number one is, if you would have seen the interview of Mr. Mani, what does he say? Draft number one, that is the first draft which was submitted, the affidavit number one. The affidavit number one was drafted by me and was vetted by two authorities, that is the then Home Ministry and the Law Ministry as well. Vetting is not a small issue, sir. Whether you know law, whether you have facts, whether you don't have facts. But it was vetted by two ministries then, sir. So naturally it is not ministries then versus ministering now. It is truth versus lies. Thereafter, within a span of one month, you change a second draft that was not drafted by me, neither by two senior officers above me, but someone above that. And when you connect the two dots, that is the interview of Mr. Pillai, and when Prema asks him, Mr. Pillai says even he has not drafted it. Then he says, uh, Prema, Prema, then it is 2 plus 2. If Mr. Pillai, who is the highest officer, who is the highest officer in the Home Ministry, even okay, he has not on, drafted it, live. then gentlemen, who is the only one remaining? Gentlemen, only one remaining gentlemen, I need to, Mr. I need to, to gentlemen, 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 gentlemen. I have with me, one second, I have with me Mr. Money on the line now, sorry, sorry, Mr. Money, who has not spoken, is live with me on the phone, okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to hold this, I'm going to put the phone on speaker, Mr. Money, are you there? No, I'm here. Okay, so Mr. Money, you stay with us on the line. Yeah, please. Can all the viewers hear Mr. Money, please, should I just make it a bit louder? Mr. Money? Yeah, please. Hello. Yes, yes, Mr. Money. I'm just holding it close to the mic. That's all. Uh, Mr. What, Money. What Mr. Money. After your interview, after your interview has gone on the on, on Times Now and now on the news are. Right. Two basic arguments against you. Right. Why have you not spoken earlier? One. B, Congress party says that in the past, you have made absurd comments such as parliament attack was carried out by the government. I want your response to both. You may have already seen the responses. Yes, please. The bottom line is, Congress party is simply spreading this lie. It is Sati Sharma who told it, which I reported to my senior on 24th uh, June 2013. The part of my report, which they picked up as a piece of the report and now try to spread this canal, which is a totally false, highly irresponsible, I, I have no comments to offer. Number two is why I did not report internally. See, I have been put, to, after 2013, I have been put through a lot of cases, I have many cases were found on me, which was uh, baseless cases, I am very sorry to say that. Uh, people have chased me, I have already told you, even in the temple in which I pray, I was not spared. If this is the way uh, the response was to say in defense, where is our great gentleman sir, from Rahul or somebody? I don't think it's mentally developed enough to understand the what. No, no, we don't. We okay. Once, so, so, Mr. No, no, Mr. Mani, no personal comments. So continue, continue. No personal comments. I. That's your. We are continue. Your, continue on the point. It was a total conspiracy to take the credibility to discredit the IP because IP has been doing excellent job. Rajinder Kumar has done a wonderful job. You know, I, I, he did not have been treated like this. He should be awarded with Padmasri. I go naturally on this channel that he should be awarded with Padmasri for what he has done. Not only this case, you see the traffic on Rajinder Kumar. I have seen his user for several years. Okay? 
Mr. Money. Yes. Mr. Money, I want you to tell everyone watching the news are tonight right. about the torture. Now you say that your pants were burnt with cigarette butts. Right. And you even remember the date, but 20... Says, 21st June 2013, the longest day, the day, the day. 21st June 2013, who was coming in right now on that? Ajayalog, you were saying something, you were not to let Mr. Mani continue? Yeah. Okay, Mr. Mani, one second. Say that his lawyer just now said that he was, he was, when he was hit, he also d decided that I'm also going to hit back. So they He said, no, no, that's not what he said. That's not what he said. Let him describe. Mr. Money, Mr. Money, why don't you tell our viewers tonight? I don't know if this audio is clear through for everyone watching tonight. Is it clear? Please, what, what I, is it, no, is this clear or I'll try connecting you on a landline? Okay, I, I'm, what I'm going to do, Mr. Money, since a lot of people are calling in, people can hear you, audio. but a lot of people audio. also, so I'm going to call you right now from a Mumbai number on the landline. Please take the call. In the next 10 seconds, we are going to call you. Do you want my landline number? No, no, I don't want it because right now this is live. Please don't reveal any numbers in the course of the program. Okay, okay we will call you. We will call you from our landline on your mobile number now. Perfect. Okay, so Perfect. Mr. Money, you wait. And this debate is continuing. Should I take a two-minute break right now at this point? Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a two-minute break. Okay, Mahesh Jaitmalani, I saw a lot of hands go up there. In two minutes when I come back, Mr. Money, we're going to have you live on the program. Okay, on the phone. One second, that's taking me two minutes. Please come in. And here's the number. I'm giving the number across to my colleague. Take it here, Niranjan. Take the number. And, and 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 we are and we'll be calling we'll be calling Mr. Money from the landline in just a couple of minutes. This debate is continuing. Mahesh Malani, you're live tonight. Your response on the other side. Mr. Money will be live, and the debate is on the Ishrat cover up. Just 120 second break. Okay, right now we are going to go back to Mr. Money. Mahesh Malani wanted to make a point. Mahesh Malani, before I go get back to you, what was the point you wanted to make? Because I want to go back to this debate. To Mr. Money, any anything you want to make? Any point you wanted to make there, Mahesh? Uh, I'd love let Mr. Money finish and then answer. Okay, Mr. 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 Money, are you there now? Is a clearer line? I'm very much with you. I'm very much with you. Okay, excellent. So, Mr. Money, the whole country is watching right now. Right. And so, you're the person who has signed both the Ishrat affidavits. You are right. In the first, you say Ishrat is a terrorist. In the second, that part is removed. Yes. You now say that the second one was removed because you somebody was drafting it and writing it for you. You were rubber stamping it. Right, perfectly okay. Am I right up to this point? Absolutely right. Okay, tell me. Then you say, that, so you would ask to rubber stamp it. You also right. say that the inputs sent by the Intelligence Bureau about Ash Ishrat's terror antecedents are accurate. Right. And despite that, you signed a second affidavit which said exactly the opposite. I, I just, no, it is not like that. Yeah. Basically, he said the inputs are the same. Yes. His accuracy is not questioned. Yes. But what our Dr. Chidambaram says is that inputs are not conclusive. They cannot be deemed conclusive. No, that was a point. Perspective of it, whom? Was it a perspective was, of the Home Minister or, Mr., or the Home Secretary or somebody else? Deputy Secretary, someone see, else? Go down the food. I have already made it clear that it was uh, rapidly drafted from higher ups and it was above the Home Secretary as Home Secretary interview corroborates. Now, see, Mr. Chidambaram. Now, if, now, some, if the IRS above the Home Secretary feels that they are only conclusive, not conclusive, but only not evidentiary and conclusive, then we can't take a line on. We put the papers on record, we put our notings, remarks on record, as the dissent note uh, on the has mentioned. Thereafter, it is for the senior to take a call. That okay, the okay. That's so far. That's so far. That's so far. Right. And at this point, my question to you, Mr. Mani, is uh -huh. when Prema asked you, Mm -hmm. You even remembered the date on which you were tortured. There was some. Right. Your family member showed us your trousers. I'll show the pictures out here with right. with holes with cigarette, which you said were marks of cigarette butts. Right. You know that cigarettes were were put there to burnt while you were wearing the trousers as part of the torture that you went through. Right. Please, without hesitation, mm -hmm. tell us about the torture. She he said uh, as my lawyer has already. Even a brief the thing, he said, Aap, kya problem hai ye bolne mein? I said, no, bhai, this is the truth. I am telling the truth. I am telling the truth. I, this thing, it, start, it started around 9.30, 10. 
it went down up to 2:30 3 uh, more than after 3 o'clock there after they started uh, bashing up some some other witness in the next room to either it was bashing up or playing a tape or whatever it is psychologically break me i said i am telling the truth i am telling the truth there after what happened he became uh, uh, agitated after of 3:15 3:30 He went on. Uh, I, I, I cannot recollect that. It is so uh, uh, traumatic for me to recollect that. Then he pulled out a cigarette. Yeah, Chalat Madrasi. Yeah, he threw it on me. Uh, just like Chalat Madrasi pushed me the water. Something like that. He said. I got. I don't. If you call me Madrasi, then I will also call you names and all that. I don't want to take that. To the other, then he said, I will break, break, break you up. I said, I have been a basketballer. I have been a sportsman in the university level. So don't try to do that to me. So. Uh, it may be for, for 35 years back. I might have played, but I have played all the same. So uh, it went on. Other than I said, my wife is sitting with my. Uh, she will go to my uh, chief justice uh, residence in the night and wake her up and uh, ask her a habeas corpus petition. See, uh, uh, that's what Mr. Mr. Singh and my wife will go and wake up the chief justice. Then it went on. Then he said, suddenly he went into another room and uh, pulled out uh, uh, the, the DSP. One DSP, uh, the Tamilian DSP. He said. ंदीनगर SIT it is Sadiq Jamal and Ishwar Jaha's common SIT had taken a competition maybe on the first floor it was not our commercial so, establishment so so when this was going on yeah. and you were tortured right why didn't you go public at that time beg your pardon why didn't you go public i mean it's horrific i had already told public my lawyer has been saying that that he has told you earlier also on several occasions But nobody, uh, the media did not. In fact, uh, Indian Express correspondent has met me. CNN correspondent at that time had told me we had shown the pants, everything. They never uh, reported. I was even. I was supposed to be going on there. I think the first time the opportunity came, we filed it to the Supreme Court. Huh? It has been put on record. I, I made a report to my. Uh, these, I was posted under uh, Urban Development Ministry at that time. Secretary of Urban Development said it has gone. There after he had forwarded to Home Ministry. Everything was the the, the the official channel also. Everything was put on record. And my lawyer had spoken to Indian Express uh, correspondent. He had spoken to CNN and IBN. He had some some other correspondent also came to his house and took. But they never reported these matters. So these interviews happened, but they did not report your version. They did not report. It is the first time that this has come. That is why. You are saying these publications interviewed you, but they did not put out your version. They interviewed my lawyer. Now we interviewed you, and we put out your entire version tonight. Right. We are also trying to get the version of Asatish Varma, so we sent him there, sent right. someone to Shillong to get his point of view. But but now uh, you know, Mr. Mani, stay on, please, with us. Right. Two hands go up. Rahul Narvekar, Mahesh Jetpalani. This country owes an explanation to someone like. This country owes an explanation to someone like R V S Money. Calling him names, Mr. Narvekar, is not going to be an answer. Let me make that amply clear to you. Calling him names is not the answer tonight. Going and reopening the case is the answer tonight. Mahesh Jetpalani and Rahul Narvekar. Yes, Mr. Narvekar, please go ahead, Mr. Narvekar. This is the first time that the Under Secretary, the Home Ministry, is speaking on this entire case. Yes, please. Arna. you yourself asked mr mani just now as to whether that affidavit was drafted by him or was it drafted by someone else or you probably hinted at asking him whether it was drafted by the home minister you asked this question to him more than twice he refused to answer it clearly he has given an amply crystal clear answer the, it was drafted by someone He has, he has given a crystal clear answer. answer. Now, 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 he if he is very clear, if he has been sir. so kind to give out all these revelations at this stage, why can't he elaborate on the name hearing. of the person who's probably drafted this affidavit? He said One. it. You first Number of all, you two. didn't hear. Can, can can Mr. Can Mr. Money tell us was he the sole authority to file this affidavit per se? What was his decision? Was he the authority to decide whether or not this affidavit should be filed? If the answer is yes, 
then I can definitely buy his argument. You are confounding it, please. You are confounding it. There is an absurd amount of pressure Ra on him. Ra what? But what? if that is not the question, Mr. if it is not his authority, Mr. 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 then why Mr. would Mr. Rahul 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 Mr. Rahul Narvekar, before Mr. Mani replies, Sambit Patra and then Sambit Patra and Mahesh Chetpalani. Before Mr. Mani replies, Sambit Patra and Mahesh Chetpalani. Rahul, Rahul, just a second. Rahul, Rahul. Ra Rahul, let's have a technical Sambit, debate. Sambit, Rather than shouting start, down each other, let's start. understand the solution issue technically. You, start, you say that... Uh, we just, don't want you to Rahul, please. Just give the answer. Don't tell us Come what we have to complete, do. Complete. You keep quiet. You have some patience. Come. We've heard enough of that. Come to the point. Only if, only, the only, if, only if you all are quiet, we would be able to tell you, no? Only if the lawyers of Ishra Jahan are quiet. Can you, can you be quiet? Ho gaya, ho gaya. At least you and Ajay are not Bajrangi Bhaijan, you are Ishtar Ki Bhaijan. We know that they you also have called him Bihar Ki Beti. Now please let's not go into the Okay, please no more, no more rhetoric. Mr. Mani is on the line. Hear me out. One second. Sambit, please. Hear me out. Quickly. No rhetorics. Let's be technical. Please let... Mr. Mani is hearing us. Let, let's behave exactly. and let's be technical on this. Number one, you say that, well, That's there are two affidavits and Mr. Mani nowhere says that the affidavit has been signed by or dictated by the Home Minister or anyone from the political circle. I mean, look, it is absolutely clear. The first affidavit, which was submitted in the court of the law, was drafted by Mr. Mani, was vetted by two ministries. And Mr. Rahul, it is not that you don't know Rubbish. the meaning of vetting. You are Rubbish. a sharp mind. You know what vetting means. That means point by point, everything in this draft has been seen, has been approved by the ministry, the home ministry, as well as the law ministry. Thereafter, it was placed in the court of law. My question is, are you so naive that you don't understand that something transpired in the meantime, that the affidavit was changed? Who were the ones who transpired, who conspired in the meantime to change the affidavit? Was it the good bureaucrats? Point, good point, good point. Mr. Pillai and Mr. Mani had said, no, it's well, not the bureaucracy. It's not the bureaucracy. The it is evidence. something beyond the bureaucracy. My, our Mani question is, who is it beyond the bureaucracy? And Mr. Goswami, let Mr. Okay, Goswami, viewers, they viewers, have challenged us. They have challenged us. RBS Mani is on the line. He must be given an opportunity to speak right now. Take the name. One at a time. We one at a time, one the at the a name. time, one Mr. at a time. I keep saying this. I give but one I example tonight. I want to take the name. I, I, I say this. Mr. Oh. Mani, you want to say something? And after this, after I this, understand. after this, after this, Mahesh Chetpalani on, please, along with Kumar Ketkar and uh, Ajay Alok. But first, I want to hear from Mr. Mani. Yes, Mr. Mani. I have made it very clear in the interview also yes. that the input, as, as soon as I could notice was received, I collected all the information, made a draft based on all documents which was submitted, it went through the process of directors, joint secretary, special Precise. secretary, internal secretary, home secretary, then the home minister, home minister said let law secretary see it, so law, it went to law secretary, I don't know in what context, from law secretary it came back to home ministry, then it was sent to me and I went and filed the first affidavit on 6 August 2009. Precisely. Second affidavit, Thereafter, whatever transfer has, has been very good, we don't know. But one fine day, there was a meeting else, and Mr. Pillai has also said that none of the, Mr. Pillai is the Home Secretary, the highest uh, officer of uh, Government of India in the Home Ministry. About that, there is only Cabinet Ministers and Minister of State. So if Mr. Pillai has said that, I already appreciate that not at my level, not at two levels about Okay, the, got it. Okay. Now, I, I, place, I place for you, Mr. Money, out here. I remember both affidavits, August 2009 and 8. We also would like to place before Kumar Ketkar and Ajay Alok tonight and Mahajit Palani to take this forward. The date is 24th of June 2013. Please understand, Mr. Money has a great memory and recollection. He said he was tortured in the SIT office, Mahesh Jet Malani, 2013, on 21st of June 2013, in the SIT office in Gandhinagar. Tortured. I mean, viewers, what is going on in this country? A senior bureaucrat is tortured for speaking the truth because the case is politically sensitive. Somebody wants to fix somebody. Somebody does not speak that line. You torture the guy. You push him, and this is happening when the UPA was in power. Three days later, Mahesh Jetpalani, chronologically, he writes a letter to his seniors in the Urban Development Ministry on the 24th of June 2013 after being tortured by the SIT. 
and he says i'm being hounded harassed that is violence i mean what do you want a man to do you don't want to see this kumar ketkar or ajay alok because it does not suit a certain political narrative we want people to join the civil services ias ips in this country they are watching tonight that an honest ip ias ip ias officer is being treated like that in his own country because some politicians want to play games some politicians want to play their games it's not a question of political it is narrative. it is entirely it's politics it is entirely it's politics not a question of political narrative mahesh chetpalani i will tell mahesh you chetpalani the date match it's entirely political we know it's political please don't tell me this is candy floss going on here this is neither alice in wonderland you know it's a serious story and it's a big revelation mahesh jetpalani please if you will allow anyone to answer yeah i will after mr jetpalani will speak you can answer after that arnav arnav can i just arnav can i just come in for a minute look there is there is the whole point is chidambaram as home minister had all the inputs before him please again let me repeat there were two nsas who have then and now reiterated that this was a genuine encounter mr narayanan and mr ibrahim there are two home secretaries who have said this is a genuine encounter who says what is the evidence for saying this is a fake encounter yeah. please ask mr narvekar mr alok and all these other people kumar ketkar can even mr chidambaram didn't know that this kumar was a fake ketkar encounter. said that he just says he he rahul narvekar said that, that he said that the ib he said that the mr. ib mr. inputs mr. were not conclusive But Mr. where Chetan was the ground no for starting off? Where was the evidence for suggesting that this was a fake encounter? But would you, would you also, would you also say the court? Arre, but what court? Please tell me what today. What, what have you seen? What is the? What Narvekar? What is the evidence today? Given? Please answer Aapad, that Narvekar, question. Narvekar, you tell me what is the Mr. evidence of the charge seen today? J Mr. J. What is the charge? Maybe Mr. Chetan. What is the evidence of the charge seen today? Maybe the rest of us are not as wise as you are. Maybe the rest of us don't, don't have the same th th thought process. But are the courts also wrong in what they've said? You're so getting, you that Mr. Narvekar, have... you're getting, you're getting. No, no, the the courts are not. You are misinterpreting. You are creating a straw man. This is the easiest thing to do. You put wrong arguments into somebody's mouth, and you act very, you act very clever, and pretend you are demolishing an argument. You are not. What you are saying, you have no evidence in this matter of any fake encounter. The courts haven't passed the judgment yet. And what evidence you have? And what evidence do you have to show that this was the a real encounter? The only person kindly tell me you are relying on belated statements made by officers who who yes, credibility can I all question? Can will you question? please open? Will you please open your ears wide and and just wait for a minute instead of talking so much? Try and listen to somebody whom you claim is wiser than you are. Please listen to me. Two NSAs have said this is a Mr. Narayanan and Mr. Ibrahim have said this is a genuine encounter. Two Home Secretaries, Mr. R K Singh and Mr. Pillay, have said it. Every officer of the IB and the Home Ministry have said this is a genuine encounter. Who says it's a fake encounter? R K Singh, Mr. Chidambaram, for political Mr. reasons, Mr. and I go a stage Mr. further. Your party, Mr. Mr. Chidambaram, highest echelon, are mixed up with the LED. Only the LED people. Hello. I'm saying six other people. I'm not only talk. I'm talking about every home ministry and IB official. Where is the evidence that this is a fake encounter? Except in the imagination of Chidambaram Mr. or the political machinations of the Congress Party and the NCP. Now let me come tell you something else. The entire evidence in this case, the entire evidence in this case, has been fabricated by Satish Verma. Who is Satish Verma? Mr. Narvekar, you should know who Mr. Satish Verma is. Mr. Satish Verma yes. was somebody who was nominated on the SIT by the NGOs and by the family of Ishrat Jahan and Mr. Pillay. He was the one. They were the ones who suggested his name to be in the SIT. Two heads of the SIT, Mr. Mohan Jha and Mr. Karnel Singh, walked out of the SIT because they said they couldn't work with Mr. Satish Verma. Mr. Satish Verma dominated the whole thing because he had the year of the Congress Party and Mr. Chidambaram in particular. One more thing, you know who Mr. Satish Sharma is. There was an inquiry against Mr. Satish Sharma for turning a blind eye and allowing evidence of uh, allowing RDX to come into this country at Porbandar, where he was stationed in 1993 for the 1993 bomb blast. 
He is also facing an inquiry for saying that the principal landing agent who was responsible for RDX landing in 1993 was absconding. When he knew he wasn't absconding, he was reporting to him daily. And do you know that Mr. Satish Verma faces three cases of false encounters done by him? Now, Mr. Jaitmalani, uh, on, on those specifics, no, no, on those, on those specifics of those cases, no, no, on those specifics of those cases, those are your details, the not mine. If there is a doubt, your details, not mine. That is because you are uninformed. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are it's on the your part. Narmeka is all political banners. You refuse to inform yourself. You come on television and give political speeches without any information or study or research. I say one thing tonight. RVS Money live tonight is not the only UP officer. Factually, Kumar Ketkar also understand this. He is not the only, only UP officer. He is not one out of three. He is one out of five. MK Narayanan, Asif Ibrahim, Rajendra Kumar, Gopal Krishna Pillai. Now RVS Money. Now say Mr. Kumar Ketkar that all of them are liars. Would you say MK Narayanan is a liar? GK Pillai is a liar? Asif Ibrahim is a liar? Rajendra Kumar is a liar? RVS Mani is a liar? All of them because they have busted the whole Ishrat Jahan case now. Kumar Ketkar. You know how big this is going to be? You know, Mr. Ketkar, that this was I the biggest political it. controversy leading up to the 2014 elections? That if the people of India were fooled and if the truth was twisted, I have you, Mr. No, Mr. Ketka. There are five people with links to the UPA, not one. I have never said anybody is a liar. I have never said anybody is a liar. I have never accused anybody of anything. I have not alleged. I am merely saying that if they were the alleged terrorists who entered Gujarat, about which there was so-called evidence with IP, First, you tell me about the twisting of the facts. Presented before the court, number one, and by all this sound and fury. Why sound? And, what do you sound mean sound and fury, and fury sir? Sound and fury. What do you mean you sound and fury? That finally, all this sound and fury. Uh -huh. Are you trying to suggest? Are you trying to suggest that Mr. Chidambaram was under the Orders can of Hafiz Said was Chidambaram taking orders it. from LAG. These are your words, are you not mine. These are your yes. words, not was mine. Was your words, not mine. Mahi Chetbalani. Mahi Chetbalani is responding. Your words, not mine again. I am saying that Mr. Chidambaram at the top leadership of the Congress is not from the LAG. Changing the affidavits. I say you tonight, this is don't hype the fact that's not what we are debating. I am saying it's soft on the LAG. What you consider as truth, you are, you are hyping you are hyping the data you have as ultimate truth. And I, I refuse I to I am not hyping anything as hyping the ultimate the truth. truth. As truth. I am asking questions that are relevant to be asked. Those observations of yours. I am saying Mr. the no, 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 watch it. Those are not observations. What is the data that you and Mr. Chitamaram have? What is the data? The hype of the so-called Mr. Ketkar, so much, Mr. Ketkar, I want to ask so you two questions. Mr. Ketkar, I want to ask you two I'm questions. I am really saying that the hype around this hype, hype, hype in... I, I'll, I'll take a break and come back. Fury Mr. in this debate Mr. is such that the truth Mr. is hype getting clouded. Hype, the Mr. Truth Mr. Is Mr. Ketkar, with the greatest the of fury. respect to you, I want to know whether Chidambaram oh. was acting on the orders of LET. Mr. Mr. Ketkar, Mr. Ketkar, nobody suggested LET, that. That's not the subject that. of discussion. You are taking in that direction because you want to make it rhetorical. I don't believe in rhetoric. That's what all. The, I, that's I don't believe in rhetoric. All I say, all I say tonight, that in this country, in this country, we need to have a debate tonight. All I am saying you tonight that in this country, which is a democracy, we need to have I'm a debate tonight with Mr. Chidambaram on one side, these five no, people no, no, on the other. Uh, 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 Arnab, Arnab, that debate I want to is answer, Arnab, 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 I want to answer, I want to answer Mr. Ketkar for one minute. Arnab, can I answer Mr. Ketkar for on, one on. minute? I want no, to tell Mr. Ketkar the that the way Mr. Chidambaram is behaving in this, in this matter, LET will be proud of him. Now, but that's, that's not what he's saying and that's not the issue at all. I say tonight, I take objection to the use of the word hype. Mr. Ketkar, first of all, I want to ask you why Satwan Singh and Bian Singh were not presented before the court. And what about the hype? Uh, what about the hype which was called about, you know, poor Ishrat Jahan's unfair killing, political assassination. She was not part of any group. This whole talk about an assassination plot against Narendra Modi is a lie. This is a they are using Ishrat Jahan's so name to do communal is, politics. What so was the far, hype around there that? Is no. What about so the far, hype around using no Ishrat Jahan's name for communal evidence. politics? 
What about so that? Why was no the hype then? So Where was the hype then? So, so far, there is no conclusive evidence. Sir, so far, there is no conclusive okay. evidence that Ishtar Jahan was a terrorist. I am closing this part of the debate. I am going to come back. And earlier, she was I am going to come back to panel number two. That it was UPA Mr. Home Mr. Ministry Mr. versus Modi's Home Ministry. Panel number two. So let the CBI, what is conclusive let the CBI evidence? be completely Is he a lawyer? I, I say once again. Let the CBI be completely You are asking what is conclusive uh, evidence? UPA versus Ketkar is making a false statement. I, I am simply and only saying one thing. CBI and what was I am saying one thing. Ajay Alok, Kumar Ketkar, Sabit Patra, Mahesh Chetpalani, Rahul Narvekar, and Mr. Singh, please stay on. Viewers, viewers, this is not about. This is not about. What's it? This is not about making allegations. We're not making allegations. We have done three interviews. These people have gone on record, and two other people have gone on record before them. We believe if new facts, it's logic. Viewers, we believe if the if new facts come to light. And if those new facts put a completely different, you know, interpretation to events which had been hotly debated, why in India, in any country in the world, any country in the world, this case would have been reopened. Let there be no fear to reopen the case. Who's stopping them to reopen? This is reopen the it, of Ajay. For the last two years, they are in power. Well, the exposes come now. Open. For the last we, one month, you have been. No, who says this? it will not be reopened? Did you, did you listen Why to the Bharatiya Janata Party? Did this you listen the to the Bharatiya Janata Party press back. conference tonight? What did Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad say? Why don't you open the case? He said no, that we PBI demand that you open it. Okay, we take a break. We take a break and come back on the other side. This debate continues. This is the biggest Ishrat news break yet. The first TV interview of the person who signed the affidavits. I thank everyone for that fiery debate. Rahul Narvekar, Kumar Ketkar, Sambit Patra, Mahesh Jetpalani. Prema, please stay on. Ajay Alok, thank you very much. We'll come back to the story with more on the other side. Few minutes.